Hey guys, Wes here from Insert Frame. Today you're going to learn how to use logic in your frame of form. If you've ever read a choose your own adventure book, maybe when you were younger, you've experienced what I'm about to show you. Logic lets you create different routes based on input responses in your form. So in this example, we've got a form that first asks what the reason is for your contact, either to give feedback or to report a bug. Choosing give feedback will take you to a page with a star rating and a text box. But choosing to report a bug will take you to a completely different page with a text box and a file upload input. It's important to note that this only works with a multi-step form, so if you don't know how to turn your form into a multi-step form, you can watch the tutorial on how to do just that in the top right. So we've got our multi-step form in front of us, and the first thing we're going to do is name each page. Logic takes you to different routes based on the layer name of the page, so make sure you give it a unique name to each one. So for this first page, we'll go with purpose. This one will go feedback. And then this one, I guess just bug. Next, we'll add the logic component to our page. So let's grab it from the Frameforms dashboard. We'll copy it, and now let's paste it. There we go. Just like that, into the purpose page. This component is only visible in the editor. So if we hit preview, you can see that it's completely gone. It's great that it's visible in the editor so that we can see at a glance if we've made a mistake or not. Next, we're going to add conditions to the logic component. So our goal is to make it so that if they choose the give feedback option, it takes them to the feedback page. And if they choose the report bug option, it takes them to the bug page. So that means that we're going to need two conditions, one and two. For each condition, we'll write the input's name, input type, a condition, a value, and then the name of the page to go to if the condition is met. So to get the input name, select the input you want the name of, and it'll be whatever's in this name field here. So I'm just gonna copy this, just reason, get condition, and then type in, or just paste in reason to both of them, since they're both for the same input. Next is the type. So we know our type is select since it's a drop down, and we'll just do that for both of them again since they're both the same thing. Now our condition will keep that on equals. And to get the value, we'll go back to the drop down input and we'll get the value of the first option. I'm going to throw it in here. Value. And then to get the Second one, we'll do the same thing. So the value is report bug. So we'll go to the second condition and then value report bug. And finally, for go to, we'll check the layers and then find the name. So I'm just going to clean it up here to make it really clear what our page names are. So for give feedback, we're just going to copy and paste the name of the page into our go to field. So what this basically means is that in the reason input, which is a drop down, if their value that they choose is equal to give feedback, go to the feedback page. Now we're just going to do the same thing for the next one, except we know that the next page is called bug. Perfect. So we're just going to call it bug. Throw it in there. The last thing we're going to do is click the multi-step form component and then switch the end page from last page to custom pages so that the submit button shows up on all the possible end pages instead of just one. And then you just type in the layer names of the pages. So ours are, if I remember correctly, they're feedback and bug. If you're not 100% sure, you just want to make sure you check and copy and paste them in there if you're really unsure. So now let's preview it. Give feedback, next, takes us to feedback. Report bug, takes us to bug, perfect. So that's how you add logic in your frame of forms. Hope this inspired you to build something really cool in Framer and I'll see you later.